So let's be honest, guys, we cannot carry 100% of the time. Uh, I would like to carry 100% of the time, but there's a lot of times where uh, we just don't have a nice rigid belt with a uh, that provides a platform for us to carry our nice holster and a poly wonder stuffed in our waistband. Um, the big one in my life is the gym. And uh, I spend an inordinate amount of time at the gymnasium. And I know that's really surprising considering how chunky I am, but I do spend a lot of time there. And uh, I still carry when I go to the gym. I just don't carry in that capacity in, in that I don't have a belt. Um, I'm not gonna be one of those douchebags that I'm wearing a, uh, a fanny pack, dude. We can tell you're carrying. Um, and you probably, if it fits in the fanny pack, you probably didn't bring adequate firepower to defend yourself anyway. Um, so just stop with that crap, all right? So typically I use an off-body bag of some sort. And yes, that will separate you from your firearm. Me personally, I would not carry my firearm while I'm doing squats anyway. Uh, it's just not how I roll. Some people do that sort of stuff, but um, you typically don't see them lifting very heavy weights. I'm just putting that out there. Um, yes, it will separate you from your firearm, but you can also carry a substantially larger package of firepower in an off-body bag than you can in uh, your belt line or in your pockets, right? So uh, what I have here is this is my computer bag. It's actually a um, computer bag, all-purpose bag type thing. Uh, it's a VanQuest Envoy. So I've been using VanQuest gear for a long period of time. I met them in an industry event some years ago and I've been working with them ever since. And what really attracted me to VanQuest are two things. Uh, one, the mission statement behind their gear, which is uh, continuous improvement through user-generated feedback. If you have suggestions for their equipment and you've been using it for a long period of time, as long as it makes sense from a, product, from a production standpoint, they're probably gonna integrate those changes into uh, a, either the current product a new iteration of that product, or a, maybe even generate a new product based on your feedback if the demand is there. The other thing that's really important about VanQuest is they will not chase sales at the expense of the brick and mortar shops. So with the exception of Amazon and the VanQuest website, unless the retailer has a storefront, a physical storefront, they cannot sell this bag. You cannot buy this bag from anybody who does just a drop ship uh, type situation. A lot of stores will be just digital fronts that you know various manufacturers like VanQuest drop ship to uh, the customer. You cannot buy this from one of those people. You have to have a retail storefront, a brick and mortar store. And what that does is support small business in the United States and that small business I happen to be a small business owner, happens to be the lifeblood of America. So off my uh, soapbox there, let's take a look at this bag. It's actually empty for the purposes of this video. Um, there's lots of space in this thing, lots of organization on the front. Everything is double stitched on this guy. Uh, real quick, on the back here, if you're using this as a carry-on or something like that, that goes right inside your, uh, your luggage pull thing on your rolling luggage, right? So that fits right on there. Um, but here's the thing. This is in wolf gray, which I like because this is like a less tactical color than like a coyote or even a black or something like that. So it has the kind of the gray man thing going on. But the other thing is if we open this thing up, it has a high vis interior. And what that does is allow you to see all the way to the bottom of that bag. I'm not sure if the light's pretty bright. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, but you can see all the way to the bottom of the bag. And the reason that's important is I lose stuff all the time. I mean, heck, look at my phone. It's bright red, and there's a reason it's bright red. It's bright red because I lose crap. You should see the back of my truck, it's atrocious. So, lots of space in here for various storage of various things. You can, it's so spacious that you can lose stuff in this thing. It does have separator pockets, like back here, this is where I store all my cords and stuff like that, right? But, how is this function as an off-body bag? Well, check this. What we have here is the drop-in organizer for the Envoy. I take this and uh, it's got Velcro on the bottom of it. Interfaces with the other side of the Velcro that is in the bottom of the, of the Envoy. And all I do is take this one loop right here, this one handle, push it down in there like that. 
Velcro it into place, take the other one, push it down in there. And what we have here is a completely ready to go off body carry bag with all your firearms related stuff separable. So if you need to hop on an airplane real quick, you need to hop that jet plane, you flip that open, you pull all the gun stuff out and you're ready to rock. Trust me, you don't wanna be caught with that in TSA. So what I have here, and this is gonna be neat because we're about to do an off body run and, run and gun here is with the pull of a single Velcro strap, I extract a Zenith Z5P. And this one is special because it's got the Midwest Industries rail on it. This is the easiest rail on the market to install. It took me a grand total of three minutes with tools. Very tiny, it's got two pieces of, of M-Lock there. And of course our goodie pack here that has all the supplied wrenches that we need. There are three wrenches right there right three wrenches some blue loctite and an m-lock piece pull that pin out set it aside pull down on the handguard like that and it just indexes into the back there and you should just be able to horse that sucker off take this wrench we're going to pull this one screw all the way out right there that guy is all the way out we'll set it aside right and then we're going to loosen these front ones just a little bit we're not going to take them all the way out just put a little bit right there now if you want to make sure that this thing is good on your warranty you're going to want to follow the torque directions from midwest i'm just going to snug it up right there and then we pull back on this sucker to make sure she's fully seated and that's when we tighten down these two torque points right here it gives m-lock compatibility to your delayed roller locks and they have them all the way from these really short guns all the way up to the big 308s like the hk91s so what i have here is a loaded magazine i care i prefer to carry the gun uh with the with the trigger squishy which means that the uh the firing pin is down magazine is inserted that way i and the safety is on fire and that way i have to pull it out and just pull the the charging handle and we're ready to go so what I've done is I've accessorized this drop-in organizer uh, with some of their Velcro-ready pouches on this thing. So one piece of Velcro right here and a second one down here that holds the pistol grip in there. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that or not, but that is securely retained. There are There is the main body, the main pouch. As you can see, even more Velcro over on that side that you can mount more stuff to it if you so choose. I decided not to scratch my gun up. Uh, not put anything there but there are two separate pockets one on this side one on this side both zipper available this one i have locked down with a pe the piece of velcro that's actually holding it in right like that but if i run this zipper what we have here is one two three four five extra mp5 magazines just fully loaded these are also attached via velcro to the velcro strips that are in there so you can see right like that, drops right back down in there and we are ready to rock and roll. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a few more goodies that I'm gonna throw inside this bag and then we're gonna go get set up for an off-body running gun. I believe this is the first off-body running gun that we've ever done in VSO. And uh, stay tuned because it's coming up next. Special thanks to Gun Mag Warehouse for providing us with so many mp 5 zines today so we don't have to smash mags repeatedly. This ought to be a lot of fun. So I'm just, you know, Walking into the gym, you know, you're a meathead, you know, still in my streets, walking in, just drinking my pre workout, all that sort of stuff. I don't do any of that crap. Ah! Couple misses in there. Right. Be quiet. It's making too much yep. noise. Well, it's a it's time to adjust our sound signature a little bit here. Griffin Optimus happens to fit in that organizer just fine. Although I do not have my three lug mount. Whatever that is. So many threads. <laughs> I think you're kind of so 
putting a whole lot of extra non-productive motion yeah, in there. Know, right? So many threads. A little bit of Freedom's Hush 147. Shh. Being quiet. Go get him, Tiger. I didn't hear it. I don't think it worked. That thing is crazy quiet. Left. Popping that. There you go. Yeah, he did that hostage. You're done. <laughs> Stop I it. Hostage. Yeah, but you missed. Oh, she wrote. Well, that's well cute. let me tell you guys what. It's a cute little gun. <laughs> no, that thing's a lot of fun. Griffin Optus makes a, a great uh, addition to that thing. Too bad it won't fit in the Envoy, you know, assembled. <laughs> the uh, the Midwest rail, keeping it nice and cool. I dig, I dig. You want to run? Sure, why not? Wombat trying to run on the off body bag. Got my Jack Bauer <laughs> cross body bag. <laughs> yep, right. You guys might hear a little bit of prop wash. We've got the uh, the drone overhead. Please forgive it, but it is what it is. You Sounds can't like a freaking bug. Yeah, you can't get it up there if you don't. You can't he get that shot if you don't have it up, up there, right? So anyway, <laughs> you're walking down the street, and Antifa. Antifa. <laughs> Hold on, Antifa, let me dig out my, my weapon here. Uh oh, we got a problem. You're taking, you're taking fire from behind. You're taking fire from behind. I think we need to quiet this down. I'm just not normally very quiet, so I'm trying to make some personality changes. A little bit of hush for your face. Uh oh, we got my function. You got it right. Strip it. Strip it. Got him. It's like you've run an MP5 before or something. Not really. <laughs> First time experience. Uh oh. Doesn't like to run the suppressed stuff. There it is. Nope. nope. You have to. You always have to strip it. German engineering, eh? Yep. Left. This gonna be tricky. Got him. Oh, <laughs> hey, that thing. Ah, uh, hey, he's there. just prone. He's he's prone. Get him in the face. Get him in the face. Got him. And right. I want one more. Good. I killed the hostage. Yeah. <laughs> Drag in. Get a little cover here. Those are the 165s. They're not really designed for a barrel that short. You gotta strip the magazine first. Mag didn't want to come out either. Pretty screwed up, whatever it is. Here, let me show you how to fix that. Here. Take this. What we got here? All right, this is how you fix this. All right, take your MP5. You bang it off the ground. <laughs> Hold on. 
So what we've got here is a overcarrier obstruction, right? This is the killer of MP5s, right? So this thing is done. Uh, I didn't do it. No, we have to go. Uh, we have to go get a pair of needle nose to get that out. <laughs>